plans got changed and I really don't feel like going anywhere. So I'm going to work on this cute little rabbit. I need to get him painted anyway. Um, I did purchase him at the thrift store for $2.99, not to resell, but I wanna try my paint technique out on, well, not my paint technique. I wanna try to emulate what I found on Pinterest to paint this little rabbit. So, again, I don't have the colors I need, so I'm gonna make my colors. Um, I'm gonna use the black and white, well, I have ivory, vanilla, French vanilla, to make my gray. And then I have my brown for the eyes, and if all else fails, I have what's left in the wax. <laughs> um, I'm also thinking about adding some baking soda to my paint mixture just to make it a little, I don't know, thicker and more textured, I guess you would say. So, uh, I need to get some water in my cup and I have this variety of paint brushes and I'm literally going to put me something on to watch or listen to and just sit here and paint this little fella. It's got a signature on the bottom of it. Do y'all know what that means? I don't know, but I haven't Google lensed him. Maybe I should Google lens him before I paint him, but I want to paint him and I think he's going to be adorable. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do today. All right, thrift flip number one is this cute little rabbit and y'all, I love this little rabbit and I did do the Google lens on him, but that nothing really came up, but um, I am mixing my color that I want. I'm mixing black with ivory or French vanilla. And I'm also mixing in some baking soda just to give it that texture. And I just keep mixing until I get it the light enough gray that I wanted. It's not going to be exactly like the picture, but you know, I look for pictures for inspiration. So that's what I did with the picture on Pinterest. And I just keep mixing and you may already have the color you want and you don't have to go through this process. But I'm just going to start painting my little rabbit. I'm going to get him all painted. I don't paint his eyes because I'm going to be going over that with the brown. And I didn't know if the gray would make it too dark, that the brown wouldn't look good. So I just didn't paint his eyes. I just got as close to him as I could without painting them the brown. But I'm just going to give him a good coat of the gray. And honestly, I really didn't have to do two coats of him. I just kind of went over any places that I might have missed once he dried and just kind of went over them with the gray. So that's what you're going to see here, me just kind of painting him. And because he was so textured, I just kind of would dab my brush on him because, I number one, I wanted the texture and it was just easier kind of getting in all the little nooks and crannies of him. But he is just the cutest little thing. And I just love, I love being able to make it my own. And here he is with the coat, one coat, and it like it fully covered him very well. And then I'm going to take um, this brown color. I'm not sure the name of it. It's just a brown that I had. And I'm just going to cover up the pink of his eyes. I did not like the pink eyes. However, if you've ever seen white bunnies, they tend to have pink eyes. So <laughs> it was proper, you know, like they would be in nature, but... Since he's not white, I'm going to give him brown eyes like the inspiration photo had. And it was just real simple to cover. And I just did one coat on these. It, it covered very well. And I'm just going to let this dry. And then I'm going to let the creative juices flow and just play with it and see how it turns out. At this point, I'm, I'm feeling really confident, but you just never know. But... The good thing about it is it's just paint, right? <laughs> so now I'm going to take my ivory color and I've got this like stipple brush and I'm just lightly stippling on kind of like a dry stipple. Like I would put some on my brush and then I would stipple it on the paper towel. And as you can see, I just went to town and this is when the creative juices started flowing. And then I did end up mixing some of the brown with the ivory color and got me a, a different shade. And I just went to town on this little fella, y'all. 
He just turned out so adorable. I did not use wax on him. Can y'all believe it? I know, shocker. Um, I did not use wax on him. I strictly used the paint. And um, like I said, I used the photo as inspiration, but then I just kind of made it my own. And that's what I would suggest you do. Just find you a photo that you can be inspired by and then just make it your own. But he turns out so cute in the end and I absolutely love him. I did have my gray as a backup and if I would get a little heavy handed in one area, I would just mix in a little bit of gray on my brush and then just kind of go over that and feather it in to where it just looked like it was all seamless and it just kind of feathered in. Um, eventually I had all the colors in my brush at one time and they just kind of all blended and feathered in, I guess because I was doing more of like a dry brush technique. Um, it just kind of worked out that way. And then I'm just kind of like touching up where may I got a little bit of the brown on the gray and around his eyes. And then this is what he ended up looking like. Is he not the cutest little thing? Now I don't show it, but I do seal him with some, um, polycrylic, I had the spray, the clear mat, and I do spray him and seal him after he dries. But this is what he looks like all the way around. And I just think he is the cutest little thing. I just love him so much. And now for thrift flip number two, y'all, so simple. So simple. Here's that little toolbox. And I had gobs of this gray paint. I was like, well, let me just see if I have enough. I end up having enough to paint the whole thing. And it looked so good. And so that's all I did. I just painted it with the gray paint that I had mixed up for the rabbit. One coat. I did go back in a couple of places where, you know, I needed to touch it up a little bit. But that is all I did. And wait till you see how I styled this. I had plans on keeping it, but I am putting it in my booth. Um, if it doesn't sell, I'll bring it home. But I think it will sell. And, um... I was just using paint I already had, so I didn't have to throw it away, and, you know, it's a win-win. So, I'm just going to get this painted and then get it. I'll show you how I have it styled. It's still amazing to me what paint will do for an item. I mean, this went from looking like a hot mess to looking, okay, this will work. It will work in just about any anybody's decor. You know, it's a good neutral. Gray is a good neutral. And if you wanted to, I didn't do it. I actually thought about it. But if I could have, once I got it painted, I could have went over it and, you know, did some distressing on it. But I didn't. I'm just going to leave it as is. And I'm still, y'all, it's just amazing what paint will do. So, when you look at an item, if you don't like the color, don't let it necessarily deter you from getting it. You can always paint it and make it what you want. can see it is a beautiful day here it's very chilly um but last week we had literally it felt like spring and so that got me motivated 
and I started doing a little tweaking to the decor. So I figured I would take you around and show you how I styled one of the thrift flips that I'm keeping. And I will show you the changes I've made in the house. Today it's cold, but it's supposed to start getting back to like spring. Days are getting longer, it's staying lighter longer, which I'm ready for y'all. I've never in my life realized I don't do well in the January and February months. I just don't, I have no motivation. <laughs> I just wanna stay inside, stay snuggled up, cuddled up, warm, and I just, I have stuff I have to do. <laughs> And that's just not very productive. So <laughs> I'm ready for the spring like days, the summer days, the fall. I do well in those. Um, so I'm just gonna show you what I've done. I've done a little tweak into the bookcases. I've done a little tweak into the fireplace mantle. And I'll just show you what I've done. First things first, I changed out my curtains. I took down the ones I had up for Christmas and I left them up through Valentine's. And I changed them. These are some that were thrifted. I got them from I uh, from the thrift store, but they originally came from Ikea. And my mom just hemmed them up a little bit for me. And I love them because they're light. And it just lightens the room up. Now, we do have a couple throws out. Buster's under the green furry throw um, for right now. Because like I said, it was really cold this morning. And he's under that. <laughs> Um, let me see what else I did. Oh, I did get out my everyday pillows. These are my chicken pillows I thrifted. These cover, uh, velvet covers are from Amazon. They're just pillow covers. And, um, yeah, done that. On the bookcases, uh, you're going to see a couple things that you'll be seeing that I thrifted. I've already thrifted it, and I'm filming this after that haul. So, See if you can peek it. <laughs> but I kind of moved some things around. I brought this picture from the other side to here. And I've added a little bit of lavender just here and there. I didn't really do anything to those shelves. I left them as is. And I've left this one as is. On the mantle is where I've done a little tweaking. I brought out my beautiful lilies. Well, just scattered some lavender here and there. And look, y'all. Oh, is he not adorable? I love this little bunny. Uh, and then my little lamb, I thought was perfect by the Bible. I've put like a cross there with a little bit of lavender scattered in. Um, just a nod to spring. And that's what I've done there. And now over here, I did redo this arrangement to more of a light and airy springy type arrangement. Uh, changed out my heavy dark green candles to these ivory candles. Uh, I put my tulips. These actually came from Target from the dollar spot. And they are the, I've had them for a couple years now, but they're like the real touch. And then this is just some pieces of grass I had. I just kind of stuck in there. And then my thrifted picture kind of lightened it up a little bit. Haven't done anything to this shelf. I'm still working on it. And uh, down here, I wanted to put that little bird nest in this cup, but it's just too big. So I'm gonna have to figure something out there, maybe get a different little bird nest for that. But that's what all of that's looking like. I always like to put some jazz on and I like it to coordinate with the season. So this is spring jazz. I haven't muted right now for copyright reasons. But that is what I have done to my bookcases. Um, just kind of, lightening them up a little bit and bringing in some little pops of spring. Do y'all recognize this little fella? Did he not just fit perfectly there? I moved the one that I painted that I had sitting here. I was actually gonna put it at my booth and he got broke. So, oh well, that's the way it goes sometimes. But, and I still haven't hang my, hung my mirror up. I keep forgetting the pieces and I need to hang it up a little higher. So there's that. <laughs> But this is what this is looking like. I need to work on this end of the shelf, which I'm thinking about replacing that whole shelf with a different shelf. And I'll explain more about that. If I don't change that one, I'm probably gonna change that shelf with a different shelf. And when that happens, I will explain why I'm doing that. There's a reason. <laughs> 
but that's how that's looking now let me take it to the kitchen the only thing i've done in here that y'all would not have seen yet is y'all remember this cute little thrifted picture i decided to put it here it's the perfect size and it's got the little spring flowers got the little grinder the oil lamp the apple basket it just fits in the books the jugs the crocs it just fits so perfectly in my kitchen that yeah i was like yeah i gotta have that and then this candle y'all this is warm spring sunshine it's a uh, better homes and garden from walmart i think it was like 12 dollars. smells so good it's not too powerful not too strong but it smells, you smell it, you know what I mean? So, that's what I've done there. And that's literally all I've done. I've not changed anything else out. Um, because I'm really happy with how things are. I've got my cute little towel. So, this is probably going to be how it stays. And I'm okay with that. So, just little minor tweaks here and there. Um, not going over the top or anything. And um, I'm really liking it uh here in the south it already feels like spring most of the time last week and the week before it was spring weather flowers are growing grass is growing trees are budding um so i don't know what it's like where y'all are at but where we're at it's starting to feel like spring here and that just gets me motivated and in the mood to start decorating and changing things up because i mean I like to change things up. Anyway, I get bored with the same stuff over and over. So, it's just fun. Just fun for me. And that's it for now. That's all I got for now. Um, I'm getting ready to... Uh, I'm fixing to go in the back and start working on pricing stuff for the booth. Got a big day planned with that. I've got a fun video come, going up. Probably the next video where I show thrift haul. And... It's a couple days. One is I spent some time with my mom and my daddy was in there. And then a thrift haul. So that'll be coming up. And yeah. So now I've got to get to work on pricing all the stuff. My room back there is just a mess. Because as I've been going through my spring stuff, there's stuff that I'm not going to use and I'm going to put in the booth. So Got all that to price. So I've got quite a bit and quite a few things that I thrifted. And we've sold quite a few things. So I know I've got some holes to fill. So, yeah. Gonna go and do all that. So, that'll be, we'll be working. My mom's coming down to help me work on my booth. We're gonna go in there and just kind of totally redo it. So, I'll be videoing some of that too to share with y'all. So, let me get to work and I'll catch up with y'all later. Once again... The room is returned to normal. <laughs> this is where I usually have all of my stuff for my booth in here just laid out because I sit over here and price it all and everything. And I've got it all priced, loaded up, ready to go tomorrow. So I am excited about that. I apologize for being so disheveled and the TV being so loud, but James is home. We um just got back from a routine doctor's appointment for him. Everything's fine, um, but we went and ate, and I'm just like so full. So I'm just gonna get to work on this video, doing my voiceovers and everything. So thank y'all for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed seeing the thrift flips. Very simple, easy to do, um, and seeing how I'm slowly, softly. I've been trying to come up with a word, but I'm like softly transitioning into spring. So. Feels like spring out there today. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous day for it to start out at 34 degrees. It is just absolutely beautiful. So, um, I've been taking advantage of being out in it just a little bit too. So, thank y'all for hanging out with me. I love y'all and I will see you in the next one. Bye y'all.